I can I gotta see what you're doing too. Alright, so we got the bushing out of the gear. Now if you look closely at this gear, you'll notice that. Let me get a pointer. You notice that this is the press area. And if we can get if I can hold this right, these teeth are of larger diameter than this press area. Just a little bit. So the bushing actually is held through this dimension. That dimension that's because that's because I'm a wiener. It is approximately that distance. And what do we got there? We got about 30. Yeah, 430. Okay. So what that means is when we put this bushing in. There's our 430 again. Maybe if I turn it over, it's easier to see. See where that 430 ends up? Mm -hmm. Around the right two-thirds of the hole? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, the area from this end of the caliper, to the outside of the bushing. We're going to turn it down a couple of thousands so that it has more ability to clear in here on a later bike. So there's more clearance in there, and that will alleviate this drag, which is part of your kicker slipping. So let's go do that real fast. Come on over here. Now this is not...